Hello everyone, this is Paul from DLT Trading and today I wanted to show you the Burke River Bravo series. We have included the Gunny here. Originally this was called the Bravo Gunny. Now it's usually just referred to as the Gunny. Then we have the Bravo 1, the 1 1.25, the 1.5, the 2, and the 3. And we'll go through the specs real quick. On the Gunny, blade length 3.775 inches, overall 8.4 with a weight of 5.6 ounces. Blade thickness 0.154. Currently available in A2, 3V, S35VN, and LMAX. Next with the Bravo 1, blade length 4.25 inches, overall length 9.065 with a weight of 7.375. Blade thickness on this is 0.217, and that varies uh, between the different steels. Uh, the 3V, I believe, is 0.215, but right around that same thickness. And that is currently available in A2, 3V, and S35VN. Next in the Bravo 1.25, blade length of 5 inches, overall length 9.875 with a weight of 8.63. Blade thickness, again, same as the Bravo 1.217. That one is currently available in A2 and 3V. Next, onto the Bravo 1.5, blade length 5.8 inches, overall 11 inches, weight 9.75, same thickness, 0.217. That is available in A2, 3V, and S35VN. On up to the Bravo 2, blade length is 7 inches, overall length 12.25 with a weight of 13.5 ounces. Blade steels, A2, 3V, and S35. This one's a little bit thicker at 0.22. And lastly, we have the Bravo 3. Blade length on this 11.6, overall length 16.9, weight is 25 ounces. It is only available in 3V steel. You can see it is a very stout 0.275 inches thick. And you can notice, notice here that it does vary, the handle varies a little bit because it does have a, a slightly canted angle um, to, to aid in, in chopping. And you can see um, the handle on this is just a little bit larger, but the, the overall profile of these knives is the, is the same. They all feature a very prominent palm swell to aid in, to aid in gripping. It gives you a full, full grip. This, the Bravo 3 and the Bravo 2 both have an exposed, exposed pommel with, for, with a very large lanyard hole. But you see it has a very, a very good grip throughout the knives. Again, this is on the Bravo 3. I'll show you on the, the Bravo 2. So, same thing, nice palm swell. Very, very comfortable to grip. They are radius, radius throughout, top and bottom. And I, I'm just showing them here in green canvas just so they're all the same, so there's no distractions on the different handle materials, but they are all available in a wide, wide range of materials. And you can see all these, they all have ramps, ramps on them. Uh, we do have some factory rampless models, but if you're not a fan of the ramp, you can see, um, I'll, we'll show on the gunny here, the ramp with the jimping in the back. If you don't like the ramp in, when you're purchasing it, you can always put in your comments at checkout that please remove the ramp. We'll send up the Burke River and have that buzzed off. But overall, it depends on what you're doing with the knife. Bravo 3, is pretty much a chopper only you know you can take care of you know any any brushwork or small saplings and even on bigger up to bigger um bigger materials you know you can easily baton some wood with this but um very large knife then same with the bravo 2 that's more for uh clearing some brush and other the large field use then from here from here on out kind of depends on what you're what you're looking to do. We do have a lot of guys that use the gunny for hunting applications. It's a very good knife for that. It has perfect handle, has the ramp where if you'd like to have a, a spot to index your finger. So if you're inside of an animal you, you know where your where your um, where your hand is located on the knife just to give you a little index point. But otherwise it's um, all you need for a lot of field dressing applications. And the Bravo one because it's just good overall knife for the size. You can use it for hunting, use it for bushcrafting, use it for any camp, a lot of camp chores. So it just depends on what you're looking for in the 
different blade length you like. And some people, they would rather have a larger knife because you can do some chores that a, that a small knife can do, but with a small knife you're not going to be able to baton a lot of wood or get through heavy brush. So it just depends on, on, your, on your feeling for the, for the different knives. So you may be wondering why we don't have the Strike Force, the Survivor, or some of the other uh, Bravo models. What we wanted to do here was just show you the, the base, the base Bravo models, and not being all, in, all inclusive, but the, basically the Bravo, Bravo one through three, and including the Gunny, just to show you the differences between the different knives. You can see the different, different blade lengths and the, the slight variations on the handles. But so just trying to give you a better overall view. Um, on what what to pick and the relation between the different knives. So if you have a one, but you're not quite sure how big the two or the three is, you can get a, a better relative perspective here. So that's what we're trying to do. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or email at info at dlttrading.com. Thanks, guys.